We're starting a new one today. It's another mobile home here in BSL. This one here is a little bit different. Comes up to a slight flat spot, which we don't like. So we're gonna eliminate the flat spot. Trailer tie downs will be smashed down here at the end so that we can run plywood over the top of them so they'll never be removed. And they go underneath the vinyl siding that's on the side of this thing. So what we've done so far is marked all of our centers. I haven't marked this one yet. We're working on our way down through here. We've cut a hole right here so we see what was going on in this flat area to see if it was big enough to run a piece here or if we just wanted to run it to a peak and we're gonna run it to a peak and not have a flat spot. Got my guys finding the rafters. Looking good so far. We're gonna put plywood on here first. Put plywood, we're gonna put some insulation board. All oh, the other thing special about this one is that, excuse me for moving the camera around so fast. Notice that trailers don't have overhangs. What you're looking at here is the old gutter that has just been bent down, literally, so that they could put a um, J-channel here at the top and run vinyl siding on this mobile home. Problem is, water's running right behind there. So what we're going to do special is we're going to give it an overhang about six inches out here and uh, give it some boxing. And we're going to make that boxing out of a roll of coil stock, which comes two foot by... 50 foot and my battery's getting low and uh we're on our way going for it. finding centers removing all the pipe caps finding um, our center getting ready to start plywood thanks for watching beautiful north carolina 70 some degrees today loving it springtime's coming and now that we've found all the Centers. Centers. We're going back up in lines. After we get all these lines top to bottom, that gives us our numbers pulling from the outside edge to a line for our sheet of plywood. And then from that sheet of plywood down to the next line. And that's how you come up with your measurements and keep your plywood on the centers of your rafters. That's important because you have to have something to screw to. You need something to screw to. <coughs> go taking the collar off of this stove pipe nothing there Paul maybe it's uh, come in at three quarters of an inch from the outside edge is what it is okay so here we are we're popping lines getting ready to lay plywood Listen to all that crinkling tin. That is the way it's done. If you leave out this step, you might as well forget about it. The straps come across, and they've put vinyl siding on this. So the straps come across here. What we're going to do is flatten these out. Cut our plywood around it and then put our insulation board out here to the edge to cover it over, finish it out. And the insulation board will cover that completely. And then the strap will still always be there. Over the top. And we'll take them out. Replace all the plumbing pipe boots. We'll cut across here and put a little seam at the bottom of that. Not got the lines popped here. About ready for some plywood. We gotta move a few more plumbing boots and get a couple more, get a four foot line popped here. This is our four foot suit because we're going with a seven inch or a six inch overhang. So we popped our first line with the edge of the trailer. It didn't work out exactly right because it's not straight. So we popped our other line higher and straight all the way across to get our straight um, line down through the front of the house. And uh, we'll be our feet, first piece of plywood there with the overhang. Two before fascia. Metal, um, coal stock for uh, facial and uh, soffit material. Screws. It's going to look nice.
There'll be 14 screws in between both sides, seven in each one. These are screws, now inch and, inch and a half screws into the two by two, obviously, rafter. Pop lines, we keep them straight. You always want to be screwing into something because if you don't, you just screw it into a piece of metal. So that's why it's so important for us to make all of our lines first and make sure where we know it, where everything is. And then it's just laid out like a puzzle. So simple. This one has a flat spot in the top that we're not used to. So we're going to take the pieces that we rip off of the top because it's not quite eight foot, even with our six inch overhang. And we're going to put them in the top in between and screw into them to hold our ridge up where we want it. So we can make a nice perfect ridge down through there because that's what we'd like to see. Talk about my... Got all the plywood laid. Now we're getting back, go back to uh, do all the screwing it, screwing down. We've got most of the screws in. We've got our overhang put on here. Let me show you that. It's going to be freaking awesome. If you look at my Wilmington video, you'll see a finished one. Got an overhang. Normally, what would happen would be that the rubber would come over the edge and would end it right here with termination bar, but. Means where they put vinyl siding on this mobile home, water was going in between that space right there. So we give it an overhang, we're gonna bring it down to about here, or maybe just right here. Somewhere around this line, we're gonna put a, a 90 degree and bend it down and screw it right into it. And that's gonna put boxing right out. So this will have a two by four, and then facial metal, and then facial soffit. It's gonna be beautiful. No more water running down the side of the house. And eventually, obviously, looking at these windows, they're going to have to be replaced. There. Somebody, when they caulked this window, I don't know what was here at one time, maybe air conditioner. They caulked these windows in, water's just going behind them, leaking everywhere. That's terrible. It's terrible, terrible. Needs real new construction windows. Get rid of this J channel here and have a J channel incorporated into the window and then put your metal in, uh, siding into that. And that would be the way to go. But that's where we are in this place, and, and I think it's going to come out really nice. That's it. Usher. Can't even understand his name. No mind is singing. Usher. Usher was the backup singer.